So now we are going to discuss about vegetative propagation in plants. So this is a mode of uh, sexual reproduction that is observed in plants. Again it is uh, classified or grouped into two major types. One is natural that means which happens naturally in nature without the human intervention and artificial propagation. Artificial propagation. Artificial propagation whereas this is the natural propagation. So in this vegetative propagation the plant is able to produce new plants or the young generation from any of its vegetative parts. So what are vegetative parts? Flower is the reproductive part. Flower consists of stamens and the carpel. These are the reproductive parts of a plant. But if a plant is able to reproduce either from its leaf or root or stem, you call it as a vegetative propagation. Now let us see in the natural uh, methods, if you see the leaves, vegetative propagation from leaves, which plant we see? Bryophyllum. If you observe the bryophyllum leaf, bryophyllum plants are grown in the houses as an indoor plant. So the bryophyllum, it is a succulent plant that means which has got water stored in its leaves. The leaves are very thick, filled with water. That is bryophyllum. So the bryophyllum will have leaf buds on the edges of its leaf. So from these leaf buds, we will observe small plants arise, roots and small leaves. If they come in contact with the ground, there they get implanted. The roots get planted in the soil and it grows into a separate plant. Otherwise, if you cut this small pot, the small plant with the roots and plant it in the soil, it will grow again. So here the reproduction, the propagation is going on through its leaves. Example, bryophyllum. So now let us look at the next one, stem. Vegetative propagation through stem. Certain plants like stolons and runners, which have very weak stem. So stolons and runners, they have weak stem. They run on the ground. So if their node of their stem, if it comes in contact with the soil, so there it produces roots. The stem of the runner plant is running on the ground. So wherever it touches the soil, it is producing the roots. Suppose if the plant is cut here, accidentally, naturally or someone cut that. So this part can individually grow into a new plant and it produces the other runner. In such a way it will propagate. So this is observed in stolons and runners. It is observed in plants like Wallacinaria and strawberry. So in these plants we see this kind of propagation through the stem. And we also observe the propagation through the stem in other cases like so we can write stolons and runners, bulb, corn and uh, tuber. Now let us see some examples for this. Tuber, potato. So stolons and runners, we can write valicinaria, strawberry. strawberry and bulb. What is an example for bulb? You can write onion is an example for bulb. You can write corn, colocasia. So these are the examples for the propagation through stem. So the next one a root. Propagation by the root. So this is observed in the roots of uh, dahlia. root of dahlia, radish and carrot. So these are the various methods of natural propagation in plants that is by leaves, by stem and by roots. Now let us see the other artificial methods of propagation, vegetative propagation. So there are different methods are developed in uh, artificial propagation that is for commercial uses. That is, 
we get so many benefits for a novelty for a difference we can grow plants with a uh, different features using these artificial propagation techniques now let us see what are those techniques now let us look at the artificial vegetative propagation methods the first one which we are going to discuss about is cutting cutting so what is cutting that is cutting a small plant of the stem of any plant and planting this cut part in the soil it gives rise to a new plant that means the cut part will give the roots so by that it becomes an individual plant so this is called as cutting and this cutting is applied in certain plants like rose in jasmine also this is applied in hibiscus also this is applied but here the part that is cut say for example we have taken a potted plant and we are cutting a small branch of this so while cutting what we must take care is that the cut part should have a bud it should have a bud without the bud the cut is useless so so here is the bud below that portion we have cut it now the bottom part of it is buried in the soil here it has got a bud and it has got few leaves like this so but there are no roots because this is a cut and this cut is placed in the soil for few days then from the cut portion roots will develop and this becomes an individual plant this technique is called as cutting and applied in plants like rose the second method of artificial vegetative propagation is layering layering so what is uh, a layering so layering is a technique which is followed in the plants that have a very uh, weak uh, stem so that uh, which do not have very uh, strong and stiff stems that is not possible the plants which have very weak stem they can be uh, the stem which can be bent down is applied in such plants so in this method the stem of a of a plant is bent down and it is made to touch the soil like this so this is the stem now it is buried in the soil this part and a small branch of it is left outside so this part is buried in the soil again it has leaves and it and some weight some stone or heavy object is placed over here that is to avoid the branch coming out of the soil after a few days as the branch is in contact with the soil here roots are developed so after this if we cut it here this one develops into an individual plant so this is called as layering 